lucky to sort of get on this train. Um, yeah, <laughs> through the mountain. Why not? The camper van in front of us is doing a bit of a high check, Can we? so um, that's, that's okay. We're, we'll be okay. So they're uh, we haven't scraped yet. <laughs> they're the same height as what we are. They're they're um, yeah easily. I don't know what that is. That's one of the uh, little trains. What it looks like. Oh no, that is the train. <laughs> that's <Yes>. the train. <laughs> Take the ferry. Take your mic. So it's absolute darkness in this one. I don't know if we've got any lights when we go through, but to, well, just the lights on the train, I reckon. So let's have a look at the view back up through. It's quite a tight squeeze. Um, I think the van in front of us pulled his mirrors in, but we were too uh, a bit uh, late for that, so we just drove on up through. But um, we didn't clip her, I think, which is good driving from Joffy. There it is. So it was 39 Swiss francs. Well, he's moved up. Oh, he's moved up a bit, but um, I think I'm just going to sit here. Uh, I think we're doing about 12 miles through this tunnel. There's the uh, sat nav. We're away. We're actually away. Uh, <laughs> it's a whole new experience. <laughs> Into the darkness. smoke. That's <laughs> pretty rugged. <laughs> oh, not quite as uh, smooth as the Euro Tunnel, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> but you're right, it's, it's, it's because you're exposed. I've literally got my window down and it sort of feels like <laughs> you're on a train. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wow, we're out.
Bit of an epic, bit of an epic day, um, but we made it to a pork up anyway. <laughs> so we went through that train tunnel down near um, Cloisters, um, pretty epic. And then uh, we headed towards, oh, oh, we're, oh so we were gonna stay at um, Fidness, Fid, Fidness. We went up to check out the camper park. Um, so it was a little bit early still, so we thought, right, we'll go for the train. So we went for the train got on the train, got through there, epic. And then uh, we were looking for this place and we ended up getting diverted. Our sat nav took us up into this little village up in the, in the hills and it was like miles up through bloody, well, it wasn't miles, but it was like really steep and windy and there was lots of uh, traffic. And then we got in a little village and um, basically it was uh, <laughs> it was buses and, and, and cars coming. It got a bit hectic. So uh, um, it, yeah. <laughs> We were really getting a bit, losing the will to live a little bit, looking for the camping. And then, uh, anyway, then I, um, we got the other side of the village and I just put it in the, um, got it on Google Maps, um, literally straight from camper contact onto camp, um, onto Google Maps, and then just follow that and uh, brought us down. And uh, we probably needn't have even gone up to that little village we turned off at. So it was a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, we've ended up at this place. So we haven't actually seen anybody yet um, on the camping plat. And there's a reception down there. But um, there was a guy I pulled over there, they're doing some curling, I think. Um, out on a, the curl, yeah, the curling out over there, and the guy walked over and said, "Nah, just park up over there. Um, it's not a problem." And uh, we've uh, hooked up with electricity, so which is all pretty cool. Hello, dog fight. Dogs are going for it, look. Um, but it all looks pretty nice down here, right in the valley. There's people skiing and everything. <laughs> it's a different world. Steady on, they're husky dogs, are they? What's going on? The 
what's, it, what's, what's wrong with the dogs? Oh, they're pulling them. They're going to pull them, I reckon. I reckon, are they going to pull them? I'm going to get over here. There's a, um, there's a little um, Toyota over here like, with a little wood burner going. Oh my God, steady on, John. See the smoke coming off his um, little wood burning stove in the, in the high ace. I reckon they're going to work. Let's get up here in a minute. Let's see what's going on. Dogs! Are they gonna pull them? Getting harnessed up, I reckon. That's it, what's these dogs? What's these dogs? off down the bar, which is down that direction. Camping reception. Bars over there. Let's get over there. That illuminated bit. That kind of capsule thing up there. <laughs> it's pretty epic. Lovely. Right. We'll look down here tomorrow. Look at that. It's nice. Right, let's have a little look then. Restaurant. Open. Let's get in. Cool. Is she gonna make it? Oh my god. <laughs> Twitch. I actually made it inside without slipping onto the brake on it. Completely super obviously there now. Super obviously. <laughs> We've been forced into some of this stuff. <laughs> it's a liqueur. <laughs> but it's uh, cherries and it's. Yeah, so I'm just reading a few facts on this um, Rotelli. Rotelli. And uh, it's made uh, from dried cherries. Um, and it's sort of originated from a place called Chur in Switzerland. Um, yeah, I'm just reading the facts. <laughs> and there was an interesting one. I was, I was looking down through and uh, ringing in the new year um, in Grabundi, Grabundi, something like that. Uh, the custom is to drink Rotelli on New Year's Eve. That's tomorrow night. Um, long ago, during the wee hours of the New Year's of the new year, young men would visit the homes of eligible young women. During the visit, the men would receive a glass of Rotelli along with something sweet like Brimabrond brought. Pear, pear bread? Um, and describes the cherry liqueur as a love. Yeah. 
elects um, and in the in this capacity or a wedding or binga we don't know but uh, interesting stuff so that's it how to drink according to the shots of Rochelle are popular in ski lodges that's why we've got it to Dayla so um, it's literally we were here sipping it oh you can have it with ice you can have it cherry coke sounds good a slice of lemon in there um, spike in desserts so there we go so when you fall few, over, you don't a few more facts <laughs> on rotel so we and and the other fact here is where we are too at the moment we were just talking to the people here and uh, the lady who's serving the drink stuff was saying uh, so she rides horses out along these trails and she was showing us some pictures of the horses on these trails amazing um, and she is from Italy which is not that far away so we are on a three a point of like um, Switzerland Austria and a, over the, the hill is Italy so mamma mia my friend okay that was due for a minute <laughs> interesting facts